An Aboriginal digger buried in Papua New Guinea during World War II has today been laid to rest in a traditional service near Port Moresby. Seventy years after Private Frank Archibald was killed in battle repelling the Japanese, his family believes his spirit can now return to Australia. PNG correspondent Liam Fox reports. More Australian diggers are buried at Bomana than any other war cemetery on foreign soil. Among them is Private Frank Archibald. 70 years after he was killed by a Japanese sniper, his family gathered at his grave. Today's ceremony has been arranged in his honour to formally acknowledge his supreme sacrifice, but also to finally bring closure for the family. In the first ceremony of its kind, soil from his home country in northern New South Wales was sprinkled over his grave. His family believes Private Archibald's spirit was guided home with music from a specially painted didgeridoo. That's what old people used to do years ago. You know, they'd uh, take their spirit home at the, in a different town and they couldn't move them. Earlier in the morning, one of the largest crowds in recent years gathered for the dawn service. Among them were veterans of the gruelling campaign along the Kokoda track. Very emotional. Very emotional. I find it difficult to keep it in, really. Uh, there are so many that we knew who are down there. Many in the crowd had travelled from Australia to mark the 70th anniversary of the many famous battles fought around PNG. Very special to spend it with my friends, having just completed the track, so the mateship and the endurance and courage, it really rings true today. There's no danger that what happened here during World War II will be forgotten. Liam Fox, ABC News, Bomana War Cemetery.